Date Master, we back checking in. I told y'all, man, we we, we, we back with the content. Uh, shout out to the new subscribers. Like I said, I've been seeing the comments. I appreciate the support, man. But we're going to get into... We, well, we're going to start doing this debunking. We got to debunk a lot of lies, a lot of misconceptions, and a lot of propaganda that's been pushed on to you men, on to us, as far as what makes you better. You got this saying going around saying... Behind every good man is a good woman. Key word that's missing is behind. When you look at these greats, you look at these goats, you look at Michael Jordan, you look at LeBron James, Kobe Bryant. Take a look at their trajectory and their resume from start to finish. They were already destined to be who they were going to be because they put the work in. Kobe Bryant didn't meet his wife and rest in peace to a goat until he was already a phenom in the NBA. Michael Jordan was already headed to be a phenom. LeBron James was already headed to be a phenom. You look at these these greats, Jeff Bezos, Steve Jobs, these guys already had it in them. What happens when 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 what you're seeing Bill Gates is the legacy makes him great. When you look at the state of our culture and especially in Western society, you look at the let's just take one facet out, out of out of the the many that we can pull from, which is let's look at uh, weight and obesity. The obesity crisis is rooted in the women. So if you have a overly large majority of women that are obese, how can a woman that's obese make a man better? When you look at the standards that men put on women, it's because he implemented those standards. He said, hey, you want to deal with me in this high value space? You know, you getting this luxury life, stay at home mom. You got to you got to keep it fit. You got to keep it nice and tight or I'm going to get rid of you or replace you. The man set those standards. You you look at your relationship resume. And look at how many women made you better. Out of that, how many women made you better versus the women that made you worse? And when I say made you worse, once you find out about how pergamy and monkey branching and all the sneaky things that women do, did it turn you up from the anger or did it turn you up from the love and care and support that she gave you? In most cases, the betrayal and the disloyalty from the woman is what made you ambitious. It's what motivated you to the max because you had this innate desire to prove her wrong, to make her regret the decision she made to play with you. Look at your look at your your history of quote unquote girlfriends and ask yourself how many of them actually made you better. Instead of saying we're gonna eat pizza, we're gonna eat the burritos and the and the wings and, and the and the fries and all of that. How many said, you know, babe, no, we're gonna do fruit salad and we're gonna do, you know, lean chicken breast. We're gonna do this portion of protein, this portion of carb. How many sat you down and said, This is the meal plan we're gonna stick to? Because when you make somebody better, it's object you should have some objective things that you can point out on how they made you better. When you listen to these conversations with these beta males and these simps, they never talk about anything objective. Yeah, she she inspired me. And no, she didn't. Your lust and your thirst for her womb inspired you because a lot of men are powered and motivated by sex. Money, power and sex. I said this before in my previous content. Money, power and sex is going to be the top three influences of men. I want to say women, too. People around the world. Those are going to be the top three influencers and motivators. Money, power, and sex. So you've been told that behind every good man is a, uh, is a good woman. Behind me, meaning I led the movement to become better. And she had to follow suit or she would have got the hell on. So what you saw was Barack Obama walking in his light way before he met Michelle Obama. He met her at Harvard. So Michelle did not make Barack. Barack made Michelle. She wouldn't have got the books that she published until he got where he needed to go, which was in the White House. He was already predestined for high achievement. So we've been fed a better lies thinking that we have to find the woman first. Oh, if you, you, you see the content, you see social media, you see women being more vocal as ever as far as their standards. So if a woman has standards so high, those standards only fit a small percentage of men. 
those percent that percentage of men knew they had to make something of themselves to be considered valuable to the world, not to a woman. You got to make this make sense. These women are telling you their standards are off the radar and you don't meet a lot. Most men don't meet them. So how can a woman make you better and make you that top tier guy when you don't meet her standards upon if you don't meet the standards upon her meeting you? She's not going to continue dealing with you to develop you. You've been fed a better lies. You make her better. You look at these superstars, these these entertainers, these personalities that get on and they get, you know, married, get in relationships and you see how their women climb their backs, which you should put your woman in a, in a higher position. You want to elevate your woman in a lot of cases. But those who did it right, let's look at LeBron James. He has an alpha female, in my opinion, supreme, submissive, feminine, does not want to be in the spotlight because her king shines bright enough for the both of them. Her king shine. The moment you start to see turmoil is when the woman thinks she's better or thinks she's on the same level as you and she wants the same attention. Aisha Curry, Steph Curry. And everybody's going to be different. You don't want to look at one group and say, one, one couple and say, I want to be like that. Or one guy and say, I want to be like that. You need to be like yourself. But she can't make you better. You will objectively know if she's making you better by what she does for you daily. The words of affirmation, tangible things. Hey, babe, I got you. You know, I got you a new, you know, weight set. I got you, you know, this, this for your for your brand. She's you can see the things that she's providing to you and she doesn't have to break the bank. These are just small, small things. But you will be able to see. Your woman providing or giving you something that is making you better. If you can't touch it or see it and really write it out or, or type it out or whatever the case may be, then you can't believe in that narrative. But you're the one that has the vision. She may help you and inspire you. Of course, that's OK. I would want my woman to be some type of inspiration to me. However, she's not going to get credit for making me the man that I chose to become. Evolution is a choice. You have to choose to evolve. You have to choose the path you want to walk and you have to walk it un with, with, without any doubt. People going people gonna to hate you. People going to dislike you. People are going to develop a disdain for you. When you start walking in your purpose and you're doing it <laughs> on a high level and they see the work that you're doing, they see the progression, they're going to start to dislike you. They're going to distance themselves from you because... People are intimidated by greatness. They love it, but they hate it. People hate what they love. If you look at Floyd Mayweather, you look at LeBron James, you look at all the hate that these people get. And these, the most of their hate comes from people that look like them. They look just like LeBron and, and Floyd, and they get the most hate. People like to hate watch because they won't, they, they, they're waiting on your downfall. That's why people are drawn to drama. That's why the drama get the most views. That's why the bullshit get the most views. Productivity don't get views because it requires accountability and adjustment. So you have to understand that you make her better. She don't make you better because a woman is going to be a mirror. She's a reflection of you. So when you're a good man and you walk in good and good light and good faith, the woman you choose should reflect that. And she has to, by default, reflect what you'll put out. What you're putting out or she has to she, she you have to dismiss her. You got to get rid of her because she's not a reflection of you. She just had on makeup. She just put on the paint to match you temporarily until you saw through it. And this is part one of this. Uh, of this one. I definitely got to bring a part two. It's the date master.